fascinating. Oh, so fascinating. What did you say, sir? Oh, nothing. I, uh, I was just talking to myself. Slow down, please. Only doing 30, sir. Slow down. Argon 1 here, Argon 1. Contact. Proceed, Argon 1. There's enemy in the vicinity. Has the schedule been altered? The schedule remains the same. The first encounter is coordinate 24, town of Piru. Enemy is now approaching close range. Instructions. They have broken the rules. You are authorized to eliminate any Zynan in the vicinity. Confirmed. Confirmed. Stop the car, please. We're not at the station yet, sir. I know. Stop the car. Yes, sir. Anything wrong, sir? No, nothing. Here, let me give you my card. The next time you're in town, you can... War control. We have received word that you altered the schedule. No, it was not I. Sinon 3 ambushed Argon. I was too late to stop him. 
He will be reported for the infraction. There's no need for that. He's dead. Then proceed with the schedule as planned. Coordinate 24, Piru. And be warned that any change in the schedule will be dealt with harshly. Understood? Understood. Piru, please. Piru, that's on the way to Fresno, isn't it? I don't know. I've never been there. Yes, here it is. Where do I buy my ticket? You don't. Not today. I beg your pardon? Just one train a day, and it just left. Over five minutes ago. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I've got to get there on schedule. Sir? It's, it's very important. Well, sir, you could catch a bus. Several of them go to Fresno. Oh? Well, where's the bus station? I mean, it's very far. I'll show you if you follow me. First street, you say? Yes, first street, turn right in one block. Can't miss it. Thank you. You've been very kind.
Are you asleep? Are you asleep? Oh, no. No, not quite. Oh, good. I'm ready. Beg your pardon? To talk. I get bored on buses. My name is Sandy. Oh, what's yours? Uh, Kyle. 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 It's interesting. Is that good? It's good. I'll give you ten points for a nice name. Thank you. And you almost smile. Give you ten more points. How many points does it take to win? Well, we see. I made mine up. What? Where'd you make it? My name. Sandy, to go with my hair. Do you like it? Yes. Thank you. That's another ten points you get. Uh, how'd you happen to be on the road? I mean, uh, people usually uh, catch a bus in the station, don't they? Well, some people catch buses where they're dumped. Dumped? I, uh, I didn't wish to oblige this friend of mine. I don't understand. Well, you're a man, aren't you? You want what you want when you want it. That's wrong? Well, it all depends on who it is. You know what I mean? Well, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure? Well, I uh, haven't any contact with uh, a woman. I mean, <clears throat> for a long time. Uh, well, forgive me for asking, but why? Well, it's difficult to explain. I mean, I'm afraid you wouldn't understand. You can tell me. Well, it, it's just that, uh, well, I, I, I haven't had any contact with her. It's a funny way to put it. Contact. Oh, why? Well, it could mean lots of things. Uh, talking, listening. You mean, like we're doing now? Or, yes. could use a cold drink. Don't you want to buy me a drink? Oh, yes, it'd be a pleasure. There it is. Beautiful country. Just beautiful. Yeah, middle of nowhere. Maybe that's why it's so beautiful. You know what? You sound like uh, an artist or a painter. Is that what you are? Because I like beauty. No. Boy, you sure are different. In what way? I don't know. The way you look at me, the way you look at everything. Like you've never seen them before. You didn't just get out of prison, did you? Nope. The army, maybe. No, not the army. All about, folks! Oh, there you're back. You sure don't like to talk about yourself, do you? Well, we don't want to miss our bus, do we? You don't want me to learn anything about you. Oh, uh, you know a lot about me. Oh, I do? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know that I didn't just get out of prison? <laughs> and you know that I haven't been in the army. <laughs> Thanks a lot. 
All right, folks, everybody on the bus. Well, John, see you next trip. Okay, guys. Bring a bigger load next time, huh? Okay. <laughs> mechanic around here? Sorry. There's one down the road about 10 miles. But by the looks of things, you're not going to make it. I'll tell you what, though. I can call him. They can send a man down here. Might be able to fix it. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Might take a while. I'm in no hurry. Good. None whatever. Get off. Oh. Well, I've enjoyed the trip. Me too. Why? Why are all the good ones always over so fast? Bye, Sandy. Bye. Fresno. Double in bath, eight dollars in advance. It's up to you. Too expensive? Well, I've got something for three fifty, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Not for the lady. Let's take it. Excuse us, please. Look, it's uh, off season now. Uh, I uh, I can give you the good room for uh, six dollars. Take it or leave it. Well, what are you going to do? Pull the drapes, if you like. Uh, no, thank you. It's all right. Oh, all right. Well, uh, any uh, problems, uh, you just come and tell me. Do you have room service? Oh, no. Only in season. Oh, that reminds me of one thing. Uh, no drinking in the rooms. Oh, we'll try and remember. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Well, bye. Nothing. I sure could use a drink. Get you one. Oh, no, I uh, I mean a drink drink. You know, scotch and water. Of course. I'm sorry, I don't have any with me. You should travel light. What do you mean? No booze, no suitcase. You really travel light. Well, I uh, plan to get what I needed here in town. Oh, well, then I guess we won't be dressing for dinner. Are you pardon? Just a bad joke. Sorry if I seem a little stupid. Well, you are a strange one, but sweet. Kyle, are you?
you on the run? Hmm? Are the police after you? No. Then what's the matter? What are you looking for? Let's just say it's some kind of a game. Oh, goody. Can I play? Be thankful you don't have to. Kyle, so why did you let me stay here with you? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe it's because I spent the first 150 years of my life alone and I'm tired of it. Come on. That's true. 150 years? Uh, more or less. It's a translation to your standards. Do you believe in the infinite? I suppose so, like I believe in God. Infinity exists, you know. We, you and I, everyone, we're... We're only a, a biological convention created to suit the chemical environment of any given planet. I never thought about myself that way. That's depressing. But you must be right, because this biological convention has a terrible headache. Oh? Here. Mm. Oh, no. Uh-uh, I don't believe in pills. Take it. It'll relieve your headache. Are you sure? It won't hurt me? No, I promise you. Chew it. Tastes funny. Strange, maybe. It'll help prepare you. For what? For what I'm about to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Well, what do I think you are? A man. You mean you're not a man? Not as you know him to be. Mm-hmm. Well? You can kid me about a lot of things. But there's one thing I know, and that's men. Ooh. It's the pill. Mm. It'll help you go to sleep. What's happening to me? You're getting sleepy. Yeah. It'll make it easier for you when you see me. I can see you. Not as I really am. We're different from you, much different. I don't believe you. You will. Mm. Oh, listen, you, you don't... You want me to go, don't you? That, that's why you're doing this. You, you want to get rid of me, don't you? Oh, it's my problem. I don't want to get rid of you. I've never felt this close to anything in my whole life. And we're from different planets, worlds apart. No. No. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I gave you the pill to deaden the shock. Uh, what shock? When you look at me. Oh. Here. Put them on. No. Kyle. Put them on.
Good morning. Oh, good morning. Care to join me? Who's your friend? You, uh, you two have much in common. Yeah, we're both broke. Someone has to feed us. I meant it as a compliment. Hey, that was some pill you gave me last night. That really knocked me out. Yes, I know. What a trip. I had a wild nightmare. It wasn't a dream. You're awake. What? My glasses. You saw what you saw. You're free to go. Just like that? Aren't you afraid I'll tell somebody? Maybe the, the FBI or the police? Nobody would believe you. Besides, it'll all be over by then. What'll be over? What I have to do. What do you have to do? Tell me. You wouldn't believe me. <sighs> Try me. I told you. Last night. I'm from another planet. Another planet? It's called Argon. I never heard of it. It exists. Your planet, Earth, lies in the overlap between my planet, Argon, and another one called Zynon. And both these planets have claimed Earth. When all attempts to negotiate failed, war was declared. Atomic war? We passed through that phase a long, long time ago. After we almost annihilated one another. You uh, saw some of the results of it last night when you looked through my glasses. So, this time to keep from wiping out our civilizations completely. The matter was submitted to war arbitration for final solution, and it was decided that three of us would be selected from each planet to come to the Earth and fight the way man does here. And the first side to eliminate the other would claim the Earth forever. If the Argons win, my planet, you're, uh, you'll be welcome to join our Federation. But if the Zynans win, your population will be destroyed and theirs will be substituted. How? You believe me? Well, I, uh, I'm trying to, but uh, the, that's a little frightening. Like last night. I said, you're, you're free to go. Oh, I believe it. I want to help you. What can I do? Hmm. Well, yes, there is something that you can do. I, I uh, need a car. I suppose you could go out and buy one for me? A car? Sure. Uh, what, do, what do I use for money? Oh. You've given me eleven thousand dollars. Oh, you need you need some more? Oh no no no! It, it'll do. Why did you do it? Tell me everything. Show me the glasses and make me look at you. I thought it would drive you away. I thought maybe that stop this, this feeling that I have for you. And that disturbs you? Yes. That disturbs me. Maybe you're more of a man than you think you are. I'll go get your car. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got the car. Here's the keys. Oh, thank you. It's out front. I hope it's okay. It's all I could find. That's yeah, fine. Here's a change. Keep it. It's ten thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars. It's yours. Is it real money? Yes. Gee. I don't know what to say. Better say goodbye. Do you want me to go? The battle is scheduled for noon, and one of the sign-ins is out there already. Maybe both of them. How do you know? My scanner. Flashes white like that when they're in the area. Red when they're within shooting range. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Contact. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Contact. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Contact. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Contact my subordinate. Argon 1 to Argon 2. Argon 2. Argon 2. The enemy is now in the field. I'm at coordinate 24 awaiting your arrival. Schedule dictates battle begins in 48 minutes. Confirmed and meeting with Argon 3 in 10 minutes. We'll join you at coordinate 24 at scheduled time. Confirmed. So now it begins. Yes. But we have the advantage. Three of us to two of them. I killed one of them yesterday. Now I want you to go. I don't want to go. Please. To go, you need a destination. And I ran out of destinations a long time ago. And now I found you. I want to stay. Well, let's hope it's not a mistake. For either of us. 46 minutes. Zion and two. This is Zion and one. Where are you? What is your location, Zion and two? I'm one meridian degree from the battle coordinates. Projected arrival, one half hour. I have destroyed an Argon on the way. Only one will be coming. It was not in the rules. I assure you, he will not report us. It is now even, two against two. Good. Try not to delay. This Earth's sun is very hot. Yes. Don't you ever sleep? Not as often as you, I'm sure. Not as well. How often? Whenever I want. And when's that? When I look at you. Now that's quite human. Target observed the schedule? Yes. It's lodged over there, waiting for our attack. We'll proceed as planned. Schedule can't be changed. It's the clock by which our lives are run. It is like a game, isn't it? Kyle. You stay here now. I don't want you to go. I'll go outside. Please don't go. I have no choice.
Number three. Eliminated, just outside of town. They broke the rules again. How can any war be played by rules? Do it. What's the matter? Nothing. Do it.
But he was life. I didn't want you to stay. I told you to go. It's so cold, so planned. Now, that's war. It's what it is. Without any feeling. And you're welcome. Are you any better? You do the same thing. You do the same thing, or you kill millions. We've at least reduced the numbers. Who's really worse? We, because we make war a game, or you, because you make it a reality? Oh, I'm sick of war. Sick of it. Through all yes. you see? Why? Last Why would you night want to? you let me see what you are, and it frightened me. And out there I saw what you do, and it frightened me even more. But now I think I know how you feel, and I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared at all. We better go. You see the fire? Yeah, isn't that weird? Hey, wait a minute, I'll call you back. Oh, you folks are leaving? Say, you're, you're missing it. There's a big fire out in the back by the station. It must be the strangest thing I ever saw. Is she a prisoner? No. Sandy, this is my subordinate, Tom. Then why is she going with us? The schedule dictates that we avoid contact with all Earth beings. Then avoid it. Argon 1 here. Argon 1, Argon 1, Argon 1. Contact. Proceed, Argon 1. Report on coordinate 24 and counter. Only one Zynon remaining. There are two Argon remaining. Number three was eliminated. Proceeding now to skirmish zone C. Coordinates as marked. Argon to hold terrain. Remaining Zynon to act as aggressive and choose attack time. Confirmed. Understand? Understand. Who were you talking to? War arbitration control. They create the schedule, we execute it. Take a look at the map. Check the terrain. Where are you going? A humanoid would not have asked. Where we are, right here. And this is the scummy zone C. Should be there in about an hour. Kyle, what would happen if you didn't carry out the orders? What? What if you quit? Just send someone to take my place. Then let him. His first job would be to eliminate me. Wouldn't you like to just run away? There must be some place we could hide. Where? Where would I go? No matter where I went, they'd find me. Well, until they found you, we could be together two days, two months. I don't care. Everybody, Randy, you, everybody, everything. Let's go. I can't sacrifice your world just for... For us. Oh, for us, Kyle. Let's go. Let's go. Please. 
line is favorable? Yes. And we should win easily. She shouldn't be here. I want her. I have a right to express an opinion, haven't I? Yes. And to make a report when the mission is over. here in the area. We'll use that place there. Get out. for detectives. Be it ever so humble. Why would they schedule it here? you think of a more appropriate place to find a water? If you tell me what you're looking for, I'd help. Detectives. Visualizers, to be exact. I'll station myself at the other end of town, so both entrances will be covered. Wait here.
This looks like it'd be a good vantage point. Safe here. Till the alarm goes off again. All we do now is wait. Put it in, one way or another. What happens if you all get each other? If everyone is eliminated? We a draw. Contest will end. And your earth. Will be bypassed for all time. feel this way. Women, too. I suppose there was a time, eons ago, when other Argons felt this same way, but it's new to me. What happened to your world to cause that? I guess between the effects of the bomb and our relentless drive for intellectual superiority that somewhere along the way we... We lost the need for a physical contact. You're like a computer, You're like a machine. No. No, not anymore. Not now. I've never felt so alive. Get to the car and wait. If I'm not there in a half an hour, leave. No. Please, you must go without me. No, you'll be there.
In the stable. He sent me to see if your scanner picked up the Zynon. Oh, that stupid was still on red alert. Todd? subordinate has been eliminated. Wait. Uh, the honor is mine. Then go ahead. But do it quickly. Where is there to run? Nowhere. Here. Yet this is what you would make of the Earth. Yes. Soon. I challenge you for it.
first thought. He's dead. Well, anyway, it's over. And the Zynans have lost. No. The Argons have lost. Sent four of you instead of three. Broke all the rules. The whole game was a lie. We had to win. And a woman. They knew the scanners weren't set up to compute a woman. You didn't know? Not for a second? Well, it wasn't your fault, Kyle. I was computed and programmed perfectly. Every minor detail, every reflex. I'm the sum total of every woman who's ever lived. Yes, you were programmed perfectly. Your woman was a beautiful thing. I was real to you, wasn't I? I felt it. You did want me, didn't you? From the beginning. I don't want to kill you, Kyle. I really don't want to. We're the only ones left, Sandy. If we don't go back, they'll call it a draw. The Earth will be bypassed forever. We can live here together, you and I, in peace. This is the most beautiful planet we've ever seen. What's to be gained by returning? All those, those feelings, those things that we've lost, that we still want, need, they're here. This form that you've taken, so warm and so... so soft and so... The truth, Sandy. Can you now go back to what you were? Can you? Why, Sam? What? What? Why, Sam? Because I wanted you. You almost made me a woman. You were. You were a woman. No. No. <laughs> a woman here conceives. She contributes. What could I bring to this earth? A part of us. What would he be? Thank you. 